And I'm just now realizing that just because I didn't make a 4.0 and make Rokai and all this stuff does not mean that I'm not smart. I've been out of my head, can't get out of bed. Too much on my brain, but God, happy Tuesday. And welcome to another week in my life as an almost pharmacist vlog. It's currently 6.20 a.m. I Why does my car do this? Every single morning, my car goes back an hour for like three seconds, and I always mean to catch it. It's 7.20. Um, I am currently headed out to my rotation site. I'm a little early today, um, but that's fine because there actually was a, like really bad storms last night. Um, and like I specifically live in another I don't live in Atlanta but I live right outside of Atlanta and like my specific city kept having these like severe warning sirens last night and we we're just like but what's a severe warning like we had really bad thunderstorms but I always thought the severe weather warning was for like tornadoes and like monsoons and stuff so I was just a little confused last night and like me and Adam both kept going like it's doing it right now I don't know if y'all can hear that, but it just did it. And it basically will blare this horn. And then in like two minutes, it's gonna like talk and say like severe weather warning. But yeah, like it kept doing that last night and obviously it's still going on now, but it's just been like thunderstorms for us. So we're not really sure what exactly the severe weather is, you know? Either way, I'm headed to clinic right now or to a rotation right now. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but like I'm a final year doctor of pharmacy student, so I'm on my rotation year. And so basically for this next year, I am just like rotating through different sites, training as a pharmacist, right? So right now I'm on my advanced community, and so I'm at a university health center. This is my last week there. Um, it's not even a full week. I'm done on Thursday because Fridays we have to go to school and take law quizzes, federal pharmacy law quizzes. So uh, this is my last like three days. So um, today is Tuesday and on Tuesdays and Wednesdays after I leave my rotation site um, because this rotation site ends at 4.30, I get to actually go to my actual job where I get money um, from five to eight to help out with the night shift. Um, so that's nice so that's what i've been doing these past tuesdays and wednesdays i won't be able to do it going forward on my next rotation which is infectious diseases and it's in like downtown atlanta and there's just like no way that i can get to my clinic at a good time to actually be worth making money you know does that make sense does that make sense like from this rotation to my clinic it's like 20 minutes so it's not bad like i literally live at 4 30 i get there about five because I like sometimes like stop and get a snack or something or like I just like um like take some time in my car to just like cool down and all that good stuff because I do have to walk to my car from this um, location and so but this one I would be getting off at five my next rotation I'd be getting off at five and having to drive about 30 to 40 minutes so I wouldn't get there till like 5 45 6 and I would only be working from like 6 to 8 so it's kind of, I don't know, I don't really know right now, but we'll see how my first week goes next week. Sorry, actually my first week isn't even next week. I have a break next week and then my first week, but that was a whole ramble sesh. Let's get to rotations now before the rain starts again. <laughs> it's like I'm losing my mind and time's hard to find. What's a girl gotta do to catch a break up? When life tries to test me. on today I don't care what you say 
And I'm ignoring my phone, so don't try to reach me I can't do nothing for you, so don't ask, I ain't coming through Cause I'm running away to my own world, that's where I Sorry, Thursday. It's only 126 and I'm home from rotation because she let me go early since it was my last day. However, I stopped by the grocery store and got this huge thing of groceries. And I also haven't had lunch today. So like I actually I have not ate today at all. I've only had coffee. So let me make some lunch and put these groceries up and then we'll sit down and have a whole session. Okay? Bye. Alright, y'all. I have ate a little bit of lunch. I watched some YouTube. I even treated myself to a little snack. And now it's time to like wrap up the last five weeks on my second clinical rotation. Um, I, I'm i sure I've mentioned this multiple times over the last few weeks in my videos, but for this past five weeks, I have been on my community rotation. So I was specifically inside of a university's um, student health center. Um, so I just took care of like student athletes, students, um, staff, faculty, and then students' spouses. And then it is also a traditional retail pharmacy. So someone could technically just fill there if they wanted to. But obviously the 99.9% .9 is if you're related to some being some type of student or staff at the center. Um, it was amazing. I loved it so much, y'all. Like it was such a good time. Um, I've mentioned this so many times throughout the vlog over the last few weeks that like I just really enjoyed building a rapport with the students and like talking to them. Um, we did a lot of psychiatric care, women's health, so that includes birth control, STDs, reproductions, kind of fertility stuff. Um, <clears throat> I mean, just I just saw ever everything, injuries, everything. Um, did a few vaccinations, um, lots of travel stuff too, because a lot of patients are either international or they're going international for like study abroad and stuff like that. So it's just a really good kind of mix of everything. And like I mentioned, this is my community rotation, so I will kind of went into just a community rotation, just like kind of upset. If you guys know, I did work for a previous, but like before I came to my clinic, I did work for a chain retail pharmacy inside of a grocery store, and I hated it. I hated it so much, like so much. Like I only stayed as long as I did because I really enjoyed my pharmacy team, but everything else I hated with a passion. So when it came to choosing an advanced community rotation, which is required by the way, like I didn't just choose this just to put myself through torture. It is required for <clears throat> in my program to graduate. I'm more than certain an advanced community is required for every program, but I'm just going to speak to speaking about my program because I know my program. Um, Y'all, I literally, can we talk about how I changed into like my like chill stuff i still have my next earrings like i probably look so stupid but whatever as i was saying for my program i'm required to do an advanced community and that's what this was so like i knew that when it came down to choosing an advanced community i either wanted a like <clears throat> independent pharmacy this specific site because i've been to this site a few years ago when my brother was going to university here and then um a like kind of any type of specialty pharmacy. So I want an independent this site or a specialty pharmacy because I've refused to go to a chain retail pharmacy because when I was doing my job as a retail pharmacy intern, I strictly remember my pharmacist telling me, do not do a chain retail rotation. Choose an independent or specialty or something that's outside of the box because I swear to you, you would just you would just count and fill the entire time you're here. You won't counsel, you want to get to do anything else that really makes you feel like you're a pharmacist. And I really, I definitely agree with that because I felt like a pharmacist on this rotation. Like I counseled, I filled, she let me verify stuff. Obviously she was the final check. She let me do everything. Like I helped with an audit. Uh, I sat in, like I listened to like, like she asked me her, um, my opinion on like um, 
certain EMRs and EHRs are thinking of changing to. Um, she asked me a lot of clinical questions, which was really fun. Like she, ha we had the time for her to be like, all right, so what are your thoughts on this, 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 and this? And what do you think this person, patient's using these three, four? This is, like we had a lot of good stuff, like some cases and stuff. And you also had to do a service learning project on your advanced community rotation for my school. So mine was obviously, um, I did it kind of like related to sex health because I do have a very small prep program at this, pro at this school. Um, but not huge as like compared to what I, I deal with at my clinic. I have one of the largest prep programs in Georgia at my clinic. So it was just really fun. She asked my opinion, like it was very collaborative. I honestly learned so much. And that was something that I was like kind of scared about coming into an advanced community rotation is that a lot of people talk about like, and I hate that they say this about community pharmacists that like you, 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 you lose a lot of knowledge, but I really don't believe it. <clears throat> Because like every pharmacist I've worked with in the retail setting has been very knowledgeable in everything. So it's like, I'm, I really hate that a lot of people say that about our profession, um, including people in our profession when they're like talking about other specialties. But I just don't, I don't agree with that because I learned so much from her that like, just like kind of like built upon my current knowledge from being a newly, um, a newly student removed from the classroom you know so like i learned not only just like clinical knowledge and like drug knowledge but also just like little things in terms of counseling patients and like learning these little tidbits about like taking care of themselves at home to help prevent things so i thought it was really cool um a lot of things i would definitely take with me let's see uh, i loved my staff i just love the students it was just it was just a great time honestly it went by really really fast this went by a lot faster than my first rotation and i think it's just because i had such a great time um yeah i learned a lot that i feel like there's not really not much more to say because like obviously this was a lot different than my first clinical rotation where i came home and i had to work up patients and i had to do presentations and stuff like that i didn't really have to do much of that in this one so i'd say this was definitely like a nice chill rotation i am going next to another hospital downtown atlanta for infectious diseases i'm very excited about that and other than that that's just really that's really it like today's rest i got home at like one something so like she let me go early so i have a lot i have like three four hours just to chill out um i when i got some groceries earlier i bought um brownie mix to make brownies so thinking of going to go now pick up eggs because i forgot to get eggs go pick up eggs drop something off at the post office and probably make some brownies come back and just honestly binge a lot of youtube watch some videos and things like that um probably gonna continue this vlog on two in the weekend anyway because it is thursday and like i mentioned on fridays we have to go on the friday of your last the friday <laughs> the last friday of your rotation you have to go to campus and take quizzes so i'll probably just take the camera with me tomorrow when i go take a quiz um i'm also dropping off some donation items my classmate's apartment actually um burnt down this past week this on Monday, or not the entire building burned down, but the top floor burned down and their apartment was unfortunately on the second floor. So I believe they said that there was like some water damage and just like the roof is caving in and all that stuff. So um, as a class, we've put some stuff together and donated and stuff like that. So I have some items I need to put together to donate to them. But other than that, I'm probably done for the day. I'll take you guys along just like with me chilling today, making brownies and stuff. But that's kind of like the official wrap up on this rotation. I'm so, so thankful that you guys just continue to support me. Like I mentioned, I'm in like the 900s right now. So I'm so close to a thousand. I'm just like freaking out. But that's it for rotation stuff. I'm probably gonna charge this camera and put on a YouTube video, go pick up some eggs and stuff. Cause it's been storming here in Georgia too all week and it's finally not storming so let me hurry up and run these errands before it starts storming because this morning was a monsoon it's like literally been monsooning all week so let's finish this finish this video and uh, let's go get some eggs and make brownies Perfect cheat code. Social distance, shoddy, don't get close to people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had a lot of problems, but I couldn't keep them. I've been on a Wait. so big to wipe out lethal. Switch it up, Ay. take it slow, take it slow. Bring it back, bring it back. Let them know, let them go. Bring it down to the flow, to the flow. Pick it up, pick it up. Let it go, let it go, baby. Back on the grind, don't shake my shine. You could do me wrong. I'ma be alright cause you, you could try to pull me back down But it's gonna take 
take you out Well, back on the grind Don't shake my shine You could do me wrong I'ma be alright cause you, you could try to pull me back down But it's gonna take you out Good morning. Happy Friday and happy first day off of rotation for my next one week break. It is currently 826. I'm only up this early because I had to drop off my child at the groomer. Um, he goes to get a spa day like every other month because he will scream Bloody Mary if we try to do it. And I was injured once before during that and I'm just traumatized. We're not doing that again. So he goes bi-monthly to get a spa day for $40, $50 and we leave it at that. Um, his groomer is his best friend. They have a whole little relationship and then he comes home to mommy and daddy, a better person. And we love that. Um, so we just dropped him off today on the agenda of course is studying um, I have to take a quiz at one or an exam at one um, like I was saying on yesterday's part the last Friday of every rotation we have to come to campus and take an exam a cumulative law exam so I'm doing that um, unless you are obviously at a state on a rotation which brings me to a cool announcement last night I found out I've actually been doing an Indian Health Service rotation in Parker Arizona at the Parker Indian Health Center and I am so ecstatic like we had some options to do them when we were applying for like certain rotations so like when I was applying for CDC and stuff I just really cared more about CDC than I did IHS I really wanted to do IHS but just didn't really have time to like do both applications and cdc was number one for me and i figured i wouldn't get both and so i never did the application but then yesterday we got an email saying like they just opened up two spots in arizona because the other option was oklahoma was the first one and so i was like okay well like i don't want to necessarily go there but then we got the email yesterday about arizona and i was like oh hold on and I like immediately responded. I was like, I'm very interested. This would be another ambulatory care focus rotation, which is what I'm interested in. And for the Indian Health Service, they do pharmacist run clinics, which is like so cool. So basically I run my own clinic, I do my own patients. And I'm just like, this would be such an amazing learning experience, y'all. So I immediately said yes. So I think she said she's getting me registered for it. Obviously we're gonna have, some, have to find somewhere to live um, by that time. But luckily it's block eight, so it's in February and it's my last block total so like how fun would it be to like have this like two-day like road trip me like me adam or whoever else wants to go and then like they drop me off and they fly back here and then i do my rotation for the month on the weekends i go hiking i like get to tour the reservation maybe like some of the patients will like invite me to meet their families and like do like you know teach them teach me about their heritage and all that good stuff and then since it's my last rotation ever like how nice would it be to then like drive to like phoenix or like flagstaff or something and just like stay there for a week or something and like do some hiking uh, maybe go back to the grand canyon like there's just like so many things i could totally do i'm very excited um it's possible that one of my classmates might also be joining me if not i'm reaching out to people on instagram to see if anyone else is going to be doing the same rotation um obviously through different school but um i'm just very excited i'm like super excited so um that's what's in the agenda right now but yeah, I have to go study. Well, I'm going to study, probably work out. If it's really, really nice today, I might even go chill at my pool. And then I have a 3.30 meeting with the communications and content team for a mentorship program I'm in. Um, I'm, in I'm on the content team, of course, because, I mean, it just makes sense, right? And um, we have a conference coming up next weekend, which I'll film. And that's part of like my job on the content team is like getting some content at the conference, which I was gonna do originally for my own vlog anyway, but also just like meeting with our um, protégés who are my fellow men my fellow mentees and all that good stuff and meeting with the big wigs there. So yeah, that's really it right now. Um, Let's get into probably some time lapses of me studying and making coffee and stuff. And it's gonna be nice because it's just me and Adam at home right now until Yami comes back at like four or five. So probably get to do a little bit of cleaning without him here because he doesn't like the vacuum. Um, we do vacuum while he's here, but we just put him in another room. He does not like it though. But yeah. I'm resilient like an apple tree. Always wanted more. Day job bother me, but I get money, yeah. Like it falls from trees. I just wanna dance. I just wanna sing for someone like me. Dreams don't come for free, but I take my time. It'll come to me. 
You could have it all, but it's hard to keep. Switch it up. Hello, friends. Okay, so it's a few hours later. I'm done with my two things I need to do on the computer. I still haven't studied, not even gonna lie, so I'm probably just gonna clean up my bedroom real quick, get ready, and then go ahead and head to campus to certainly study, eat lunch there, all that good stuff. It's 10, 15, so I think it's a good moment. All my stuff is here. This is like literally, I, you know, I'm not even gonna say it's embarrassing because like my life is my life and if I decide to take off my clothes right there and leave them there for the entire week until Fridays, then that's what I'm gonna do. And I have to stick beside it. But yeah, I'm gonna clean up my portion of this bedroom because Adam's portion is already good. I mean, he has a few things over there, but it's mostly me. Uh, I'm gonna clean up and get ready I currently have on an exercise dress and I don't think they let us wear this to school even though no one's on campus but the lady who's like in charge of our um what's it called dress code is the person who's our professor for this class so I'm not really trying to get into that also y'all I just read my um what's it called what do you call it my final evaluation from this past um this rotation I just finished up yesterday and I already told you guys I loved it there and everything but listen to what she said about me she said Rudy is a very Rudy's very comfortable in addressing is uh, she's very comfortable addressing and assessing and ah, she's very comfortable addressing and assisting patient she enjoys the patient interaction which is shown through her willingness to offer assistance and the caring manner in which she counsels all the patients. Rudy knows how and where to find drug information and does not hesitate in anything that she does. She's going to do amazing things in her future as a pharmacist. She's definitely one of the most well-rounded student pharmacists and use her service learning time to develop an educational packet which will which SHS, which is where I was, will use during our annual campus safety day as well as all other educational tabling opportunities. It's been a great learning experience and educating experience having Rudy at my side. Cry, tears, tears right down my face. I sent it to my mom and she like sent back these, all these cute little memes and gifts and stuff. But yeah, it was just so sweet. Like, and also like, I just like have had so much imposter syndrome over the last few weeks, just like, in terms of like preparing for residency season and all this good stuff and I'm just like really coming to terms with like me being a B slash C student is what works for me like I genuinely understand everything I have learned in school and I'm just now realizing that just because I didn't make a 4.0 and make Rokai and all this stuff does not mean that I'm not smart like when I was having these conversations with my my preceptor, she would be like, dang, I'm going to have to come come up with uh, more questions. You've answered all of them. You've, you've facilitated great questions. I've had students um, who were 4.0 students who did not have these skills to have a conversation about these things or who did not like fully, who were not able to put things together like you have been doing because they just knew the books. Like they just knew how to study they knew the answers and took the test but they did not have the people skill that you have and the well-rounded skills to like counsel and like ask the patients questions like probably recommend something else or recommend something they can do at home first before initiating other therapies and just like being able to facilitate discussions with my preceptor when answering questions and like even having these conversations with her she's like not all students can do that and i just feel like that was like the ultimate compliment because like i beat myself up so much for being a b slash c student sometimes and yes i get a's every now and then i'm not saying that like i'm an idiot um and also you're not an idiot if you get b's and c's i'm just saying i'm just really hard on myself but i just beat myself up so much about it about getting b's or c's in classes or in, on exams and it's I'm just realizing that that's what was my plan. That's, I mean, that's just what would work for me. That's what God's plan had, I guess, you know. Um, I wasn't meant to be the 4.0 student. And if that means that I have more personable skills to like really connect with my patients and teach them and like have and build a rapport with them, then I think I'm fine with it, honestly. <laughs> However, I am getting A's in all my rotations and those are five credit hour courses. So the GPA bump is about to be nice. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I don't know it's just it's a lot of like imposter syndrome and coming to realization that like your path is your path and if my path was meant to be a b slash c student with intermittent a's and that means that i still learned all the other skills that you don't learn in class that's fine i'm fine with it so headed to rotation no wow not headed to rotation i'm off rotation something's wrong with me headed to school after i clean up my house and I'm gonna hate this exam because I hate law, but you know, we have no choice. 
and I just found a possible venue for my graduation party so I might drive by there after um yeah we're just chilling today so let's do it I hope it's so nice later so I can go by my pool too but let's clean so bring it back bring it back let them know let them know bring it down to the flow to the flow pick it school this is the fit um i'm really not giving it all my all i'm wearing leggings a workout tank and adam's flannel and my work bag that's all they're getting today i don't know what shoes i'm wearing um i haven't had a pedicure in like five ever and my toes look disgusting so i don't really want to wear sandals and people look at my toes but i also don't really feel like wearing real shoes i could wear my dunks or i could wear like my new balances uh, I think ducks will go. Yeah. Ducks. This is all I'm getting. It's all you're getting from me today. Wrong. I'll be alright cause you, you could try to pull me back down But it's gonna take you a while I'm gonna cry Don't shake my shine You could do me wrong I'ma be alright cause you, you could try to pull me y'all it's 2 55 i've just gotten home and <laughs> my hair looks so funny because i had it in a claw clip right now i just got home our meeting our art exam was at one and it was horrible it was horrible um completely horrible i like saw my grade and i was like oh that's not what i was expecting i definitely was feeling a lot higher but at the same time we have to they have to like hand grade all the select that applies right and in my head, I was like, there's just not that many to look that it applies to where my grade would be this low right now. So then I go outside, everyone's talking, laughing, and so I'm thinking, damn, I must have really, really been the only person that failed this. And they're like, hey, you failed too? And I was like, we all failed! And so basically, all of us did horrible. Like, I even, even one of my friends texted me and was like, yo, was it just me? Or I was like, nope, it wasn't just you. So a lot of us did not do well. Um, I think a lot of stuff was one, miskeyed two there was like no correct answer at all it was really weird so i'm sure we'll get an email today or like monday about it um and then after that my friend i was telling you guys whose apartment got on um was like flooded due to a fire um i helped them take their stuff back to where they're staying currently because there was a lot of donations and i must say like the world can be a cruel place but when people are in need the fact that like people just like band together like that just makes my heart so wholesome and if i could cry every day I would just because of just the, the sheer niceness of some people but yeah I helped her take her stuff back because we had so many donations from us as a class in the first place it was beautiful I was like I will happily follow you guys back and take this back so I helped him take that back and now I'm home uh it's 2 57 I'm about to head upstairs because I have a 3 30 meeting um I already ate lunch on campus but I want a little snacky snack so I might eat one of the brownies I made yesterday or eat like a fruit snack that I bought yesterday too but other than that, I was really hoping to go to my pool, but I heard some thunder like 10 minutes ago. So let me see. It's gonna thunder in 10 minutes. It's gonna rain. Sorry, not gonna thunder in 10 minutes. It's gonna rain in 10 minutes. So I guess I'm not going to the pool. Maybe I'll just work out after my 3.30 meeting then instead, so. But yeah, I got some emails done, got some work done, got some studying done. And yeah. 
I'm technically done for the day. So let's get inside to do this meeting. Oh, I guess I'm saying I'm done for the day, but no, I darn it, I'll have a meeting. Let me get inside, do this meeting, and then I'm done for the day. Yami up from his spa day. I had a 3.30 meeting. I ate a little brownie and ice cream, had some chill time. I even checked out a venue from our graduation party and I went to the pool and did some like reading while I was at the pool. It was very nice and now my mom's calling me. Hold on. Okay, what was I saying? So I've done all that. I went to the pool and I just washed my hair, took a shower, all that good stuff. I'm gonna try this thing where I dry my hair in a claw clip to like sort of kind of stretch it at the same time. Um, one, I kind of did a lazy wash and go in the first place. Like I probably added product, detangled my hair, everything in 20 minutes, which is like the fastest time I've ever done anything in my entire life. So we'll see if this works. But now it is seven and at 7.30 I'm probably gonna cook. And when I say cook on a Friday night, that means I'm making pizza and probably some dumplings or we're gonna watch a movie um, because it's about to storm for the seventh <laughs> day in a row. Uh, when I was at the pool well, earlier, it said it was going to storm and then it didn't storm and then it was like clear rest of the day So I like went to the pool immediately of course as I was at the pool But after kind of like after I like chilled on my lounge chair and then I got in the pool on a floaty for like 30 45 minutes, maybe as soon as I finished that and came back out the pool is when it started thundering again And I was like perfect timing if you hear someone it's Adam in the room in the office <laughs> gave me with his friends um, but perfect timing so I came home <laughs> washed my hair everything and now I'm going to clean up my mess where I had my meeting I took my meeting in the in the kitchen today because I wanted to eat in here and then oh there's thunder and then I'm going to hop on the couch until 7 30 I'm going to edit probably my reel for today a video and that's really it and make pizza and we're gonna watch a movie tonight so that's really it I might add a few clips at the end of this vlog but outside of that I just want to thank you guys for watching go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you like this content subscribe below I'm so close to a thousand I know I've said this so many times but I'm just like so excited um but I love you and I will see you guys next week um next week I'm actually off so I'm hoping to do a week in the life vlog that's like really really fun in terms of just like working and cooking and all that stuff outside of school because I know we've done some back to back to back to back school content so I'm trying to mix it up next week but gonna add a few clips after this aside from that i love you and thank you for watching